We're talking with Dr. Peter Ochoa, board certified internal medicine specialist at Summit Medical Group in Knoxville, Tennessee. Dr. Ochoa, thanks for coming to be with us. Thanks for having me, Bob. If you have a 55 year old who comes to your office for a routine physical, what's the most important? History, physical, or lab work? Definitely the history, Bob. So the history is the most important. Why is that? Uh, the patient that lays the groundwork for your future workup and also tells you what's been going on in your past history and what you mean to look for uh, during your workup. Uh, physical, why is that important? Uh, well, you need to either confirm what was said in the history or uh, find out what else may be going on in the patient that they did not mention. And lab work, what's the routine lab work that you get on a patient that history seemed fine, physical seemed fine, but they're 55 years of age, what blood work would you get? Well, I would start with a complete blood count first. Look complete at, blood count, correct. and what is that? And that is uh, where we look at the white cell count, uh, which may indicate infection, or the red cell count, which in which we look for anemia, typically. Uh, have you ever found anemia on somebody just routinely? Occasionally, yes. Yeah, that's what are finding, because it means you need to look for other things. And what else do you get? What other blood work? The metabolic uh, panel where we look at the liver and kidney function. Typically. So you can find liver in a routine metabolic panel. You get liver functions and you get kidney functions. What else do you get? Blood sugar. Blood sugar. Why is that important? Uh, if you have a diabetic, especially if they don't know they're a diabetic. Uh, other routine tests? Uh, urinalysis, we look for protein and sugar, also as supportive evidence for maybe perhaps other findings in the lab work. Dr. Peter Ochoa, how often should people have a routine physical after the age of 50? I would say at least once a year, Bob. Yearly, so why yearly? Uh, well, just so you can keep up with things, because uh, things tend to happen more quickly as the patient gets over 50. Yeah. Dr. Peter Ochoa, thank you so much for coming to the Dr. Bob Show and giving us routine blood work uh, samples. Thanks for having me, Bob.